What's up guys? How you guys doing today? So we just finally made it over to Orlando, Florida. We are currently in our hotel room. Lizzie is peeping outside right now. She's checking out what's around us. I am exhausted, man. You guys can probably tell. But how are you feeling? Are you tired a nap too? would be nice, but we can't nap. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta get right into it. Yeah. It's currently like 10 a.m. We're just gonna get showers real quick and get ready for the day. You're all ready to go, Minnie Mouse? I am. I don't have the Minnie Mouse ears yet. Not yet. You're I'm gonna get them at the park. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Guys, keep in mind that there's gonna be footage bouncing back and forth between like my camera and my iPhone footage. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna lug this entire camera around in the park. I don't even think they'll let me, to be honest. So I'm gonna record a lot of iPhone footage and it'll be easier to do that as well because we are gonna be going on a lot of rides so this hotel that we're currently staying at is like super confusing when we first came up to try and find our floor it was on the complete opposite side of the building so we had to walk the whole other side and we had no idea so now we're trying to find the lobby again Woo! it is hot out here it man <laughs> definitely a little bit different from Jersey weather right now I mean don't get me wrong Jersey weather is hot but uh, I feel like is there more humidity out here yeah. I feel so yeah. definitely it's definitely all right, we're trying to make our way over to a shuttle right now so we can go over to Magic Kingdom. So we just got over to the bus stop area and here's all the times for all the different places and the buses. So we're off at 132 to Magic Kingdom. There's one bus, but unfortunately it's not us. Here it is. You ready, Lizzie? Yes. <laughs> She's so hyped. Ah, oh, bless you. <laughs> And we are in here. Scan my fingerprint. Magic band, sir. Oh, the magic band. And then your finger. I got it. Then my finger. I got this. Too worried about recording it. Okay, here we go. That's where you're getting. Holy balloons. Pretty cool. There's the castle. It's right next to the castle now. They got a little show going on up there. Hit it, Lewis. Adventure land. <laughs> Look at the spikes on the tree. Oh yeah, that's pretty crazy. Looks like a giant cactus. So we're currently waiting to go on our ride. We have fast passes for it and it's in like five minutes, but we're waiting here and Lizzie had the paper, the, like the map sitting on her leg and I want to show you what happened. The ink literally stained her leg from the map. The back like of that this. paper right there, that's how hot it is out here. Just got off the ride. Literally in every ride, you end up at a gift shop at the end trying to get you to buy some. It's so funny. I feel really bad for people that actually waited in a long ass line for that ride because it was not that great at all. Yeah. It was just like pretty much what I showed you guys. It was, um, I know it's a little dark and it was hard to see, but just mainly figures moving and like singing and stuff like that. I mean, maybe it's cooler for the people that watch like Pirates of the Caribbean and stuff. And I mean, I have seen it, but like, like, that really cool I don't know. We did get wet though. There was like one part where like it acted like it was shooting like a cannonball and it like splashed the water up really high. Lizzie got soaked the most. My pants are soaked. <laughs> We're just gonna grab some food really quick. Uh, I'm bite you. I know, it's so I'm scared. <laughs> quack. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Bubbles. You know what I remember about seeing your trip right here? What's Me and up? my friends set up a little area to watch the fireworks right here. Oh uh, yeah. At night. Yeah. They go up tonight too, right? Yeah, 9.15. <sighs> I'll try eating a bubble. <laughs> Is there, there's more. That tastes horrible. <laughs> it's not working. So they're trying to set up like a parade over here right now. There's a huge line of people, but it's like just starting to drizzle a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come down with heavy rain pretty soon. The place that we want to eat at is actually over here, so uh, we have to take a little hike to get here. It's like an Italian place. Welcome to Tony's. Bada bing, bada boom. We just checked in. We got about a 20 minute wait for uh, our seating. And it's so funny because when we first got in here, the one guy was like asking about the food and he was so hyped because he was like, they actually have real Parmesan here. Like chicken Parmesan, because I guess he thought the food was like half-assed or like, like fake. I don't know, it was weird. We just got seated and Lizzie literally looks so small right now. You have to eat like this. I know. <laughs> hey, look at that, we're trading spots. I wanted the uh, booth anyway. I know, that's I always I give it to her though. Here. Damn, this is low, man. I mean, it's, it's even pretty. For you. Yeah. Just sit in this seat, I guess. Yeah, we're just gonna sit in the chair. All right, we got this figured out. Lizzie's moving a chair over there. We're good. Wow, that's great. They didn't even cut your chicken up. Huh? They usually, well, I've never been here. Yeah, now it's raining. Everyone's getting soaked. 
People are putting ponchos on and stuff as well. Yeah, there's one of them. Lizzie brought an umbrella. This is currently what we're using. We do have ponchos too that we got the other day, but I'd much rather use this right now. All right, well, she's got her poncho on now. She didn't want her bag to get wet, which I understand. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> we rode a total of like three rides today. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. Whenever you come to these places, just know that you're probably gonna end up only riding like like four or five tops like rides in like a couple hour span because these rides, oh, I just got stung by some. These rides, the lines are so long, so it just takes forever. Even though we had fast passes, like we were obviously waiting for the times for the fast passes. And you only get three a day. On the app, it tells you how like how long it is for a wait for each ride. One ride at one point was 120 minute wait. Yeah, man, That's it's so crazy. Long. We're actually getting really, really tired right now. It's almost like seven o'clock. We're gonna head back to the hotel, get a little bit of sleep, and then see what the plan is after that. We're probably just gonna take a nap for a couple hours. I hate when they do this with the beds, and like I gotta like try and like. Make it not, there you go. We're good. So it looks like that is the end of day one. I got my own bed. No, I wasn't. Was Leslie's like, no, got her own bed. <laughs> why, do, why do we have two separate beds? I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'll it's see so you guys hard. tomorrow. Woo, and it is the next day, the next morning that is. We're actually about to go grab breakfast. We're gonna be headed over to Hollywood Studios right now. We hit Magic Kingdom yesterday. We're gonna grab food there and then we're gonna go on a bunch of rides today. What's the one ride we're going on? Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. I've actually been on that ride before one time and was probably one of the funnest rides in the entire park. That's our first fast pass today. Sick, so that's at 3 p.m., which is in a couple hours. I'm definitely really hyped. We're headed over to get on the bus again right now. Just made it over here, and uh, wow, it is hotter today than it was yesterday. And it's not even supposed to rain today, which is good. So hopefully nothing gets stormed out. So we just made it through a super long line to get in here. The only reason we had to wait in the line was because Lizzie is a bag on her. So of course they gotta check through the bags and everything. But I literally think I got sunburned just waiting in that line. Today is definitely gonna be a sunburn type of day. But now we gotta try and find food. Boo, 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 boo. So for people that have never been here before, this is what it looks like when you first get in here. It's pretty cool. Classic look. I guess they got a little theater here. Of course, we ended up getting chicken tenders. My Honestly, mate. it looked like the best thing on the menu, so we're gonna dig in. What? Toy Story Land. Damn, that comes out at the end of this month. We came at the wrong time. Look at that roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, in reality, it's probably like super small for like little kids. <laughs> we're over at Pixar Studios. Connected monkeys. <laughs> I'm literally sweating, like I'm dying out here. Me and Lizzie both got these uh, strawberry lemonade. Probably like water ice, that'll be a little quick refresher. So this is a little weird, but whenever me and Lizzie walk next to each other, we always like it in this order. Like I always like her being on my right side, cause if not, it feels weird and she likes being on that side as well. For example, she was just starting to walk on my left side. I was like, ugh, this feels weird. Cause you just like walk on this side. I have no idea why, but it's always been that way. Oh, well, when we hold hands too, it's always these hands. Like the one you're recording with and my left hand. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when I am recording, sometimes I'll literally just walk over on the other side just to record a clip, but then I walk right back to the other side just because, I mean, obviously turning it like this is a little weird. Having but... the arm like right in the middle is like a barrier. Yeah. Lizzie's cup. Yeah, my cup. <laughs> we came to check out the gym. I need to get my grind oh, on. They got dumbbells. Ain't got no dumbbells, man. Oh, uh, I got some over here. Yeah, I skipped a day of the gym yesterday. I really need to get back on that grind. I hate missing a day. Like literally, we've been going two times a day. And for me not to go even one time a day, it's like killing me right now. The dumbbells go up to 50. That's not too bad. I'll figure something out to do. Are you gonna stay and work out, Lizzie? Possibly. I need at least a 30 minute workout. I should be fine. That's your workout? You gonna do like some ballet? Just wrapped up working out. I got a great workout in. Lizzie is going in the pool right now. It's funny because this pool area actually looks like a mini beach. You guys can see. It's pretty cool. Got your Mickey ears on. Mini. Mini. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we are actually headed out again to go back to the same park that we went to earlier, which is Hollywood Studios. Our fast pass was for a ride that was literally four hours from then. So we didn't feel like waiting there for four hours and there's no really other good rides besides the two that we're gonna be going on that interested us at least. Besides Toy Story Land that you guys saw that doesn't open until June 30th. <laughs> that, would have, that looks really fun from just the gate. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna head back over there now, go on Tower of Terror and what's the other one we go on? Rocking Roller Coaster? I, don't I, know, think that's <laughs> I think that's the right Rock name. And roll, roller They're coaster. both really fun, though. So definitely gonna enjoy that. Oh, and about last night and sleeping in different beds. 
I like it. <laughs> Yo, honest to God, like I do like cuddling, obviously, and being with you. But like when it's a bed, you guys got to see how I sleep. I literally spread my entire body. I don't sleep straight on a bed. I sleep diagonal with my legs spread out fully. So like I need as much room as I can get. And like, I feel like that's it snow angel in bed when he's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, I need my room and I just need to feel comfortable. When and these beds are smaller than the ones back at home. That is so true. It's like even harder. I mean, even at home, when Lizzie sleeps in the bed with me, and not only her, but we have the dogs on there too, it is oh, such a pain in the ass to sleep. <laughs> Bella will try and sleep right in between us, and then Theo tries to sleep in between my legs. I have to move him over to sleep on Lizzie's side, and then he still ends up walking back over and sleeping on my side by the time I wake I up. But Bella. it's so uncomfortable because I literally wake up so many times throughout the day. Is this our bus? Uh, no. We got, no? I think that's how they kick off. Yeah, it is. I was about to book it, man. I was about to leave. That's a loss. Come on. I smell good. I don't want to do it. Why don't you run? <laughs> Got over here and right there is the Tower of Terror that we are about to go on. I'm so excited. I have butterflies in my stomach right now. Probably one of the only rides that I've actually been genuinely excited for so far. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. And here we are, getting in line now. We got our fast pass, ready to go. I love this ride because it's like a roller coaster where you get those heart drop feelings when you go down. We're on here now. Oh. Oh, it's the motion gives an emotion common elevator about to ascend into your very own episode of The Twilight Zone. When stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and it went nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's open for you. I think that's it. Like, yo, my stomach hurts. There we are. You see me with my camera. I completely ruined the pit, but, uh... My <laughs> face! It sucks because I love roller coasters and rides like this so much, but then I always get off feeling, like, nauseous. And I need a couple, I need a couple minutes to calm down, but... Man, I just wish I could go on them back to back to back and not have a single issue. We got a bunch of fans out here! What up? <laughs> Next ride up. This one you like sh take off so quick. What? <laughs> we are next up. There we go. Lizzie always wants me to go first on well, the other side. Because that's, like you said, that's the way to sit. All right. All right. That was so fun. Did you have fun? Yes, that, that was, was really great. Fun. There's me and Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> I got my eyes closed. <laughs> Lizzie just did the same exact thing. She was standing on my left, and she's like, I do not like you on that side. I, I moved over here. I don't. It's funny because we came back into this park, and Lizzie was standing on my other side once again. And I get this, like, weird, un, un like, easy feeling. 
I'm like, I just don't like this. I feel like I forget how to walk when I'm on that side. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't feel natural. It's weird. We're just leaving the park and we see our bus. We're trying to get it before it leaves. We're good. We're here. Wow. This site is absolutely beautiful right now. Thanks. <laughs> I see that boat right there. Lizzie actually just said happy birthday because it says their birthday on the side of the boat. And then they honked back and they all leave. It was so funny. And we are back over at Magic Kingdom. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see the fireworks last night because we were so tired, we just ended up passing out. We're about to see them right now. I think they start in like 15 minutes. There are so many people here right now. Literally, an entire line. Holy crap. I'm really curious to know how many people are here. There's like thousands and thousands and thousands of people right here, man. That looks so sick. The fireworks are about to go off in a couple minutes. And they all do. Oh, that was awesome. Now everyone is trying to rush over and get on a bus. It's probably gonna be a while until we get on a bus, unless we get lucky, to be honest, man. Babe, there's I just a wanted lot to of people. say this. I'm gonna cry. Thank gonna you cry. so much for bringing me here. Uh, no problem, babe. I'm really happy. I got you, girl. Cool. <laughs> uh, oh, good morning, everybody. Good night. good night. She's going back to bed. It's literally the next morning. It's like almost 10, 10 a.m and we're still both really tired. You know, this has been happening for a while now and I've decided not to share it, but fuck it, we're just gonna say it anyway. Lizzie has been sleepwalking so much lately and we don't know why. Like, do you wanna explain some of the stories? I mean, the, f the started off last night, she woke up, but she wasn't really awake and I guess she got out of her bed and she was just like standing there on the edge of her bed staring at me and then she woke up and kind of like realized what was going on and she was like, why the fuck am I staring at him? And then just went back to sleep. But like, do you want to explain some of the other times? Well, forgive me for my tired voice. Because I literally just woke up. Um, okay, so one time I woke up and I was downstairs in the house pouring water. Yeah. <laughs> like, pouring water? What? I was just looking out the window at like 5 in the morning. I woke up while I was looking out the window. And I was like why am i looking out the window and then i went back over to the bed and went back to sleep yo i don't know why sleepwalking happens i've never experienced I've it never, i sleep talk i've never slept 
slept walk, and you've said I slept talk before. You sleep talk a lot. I can literally have full blown conversations with Lizzie when she's sleeping. Like I, I think I've even shown you guys before. I've gone up and like mess with her. I'll be like, Lizzie, you're sleeping. Like I'll try and like just just mess around with her because I think it's funny, and she'll literally reply, and she'll be just like, stop it, Lance, and I'll be like, Lizzie, are you awake? But and I she'll like. And she'll shake her head no. I didn't, but she's dead asleep and she never remembers that. I'll show her the video clips and she's like, I don't remember that. When people are sleepwalking, I didn't think that they woke up in the middle of sleepwalking, though. I didn't know that was a thing. I think it really depends. Like, I'm not sure. I've never sleptwalked before. Ne neither have and I. And I've never actually saw yeah. someone do it, Honestly, but you. I've never, I haven't looked it up either. Damn, man, that's scary because, like, that can really get you in, like, a bad situation. Like, imagine if you walk out the house and. That happened to my friend. And you, like, go into the middle of the street. That happened to my friend. My friend sleptwalked and sh her mom saw her outside. And it's just walking past the window. Oh my gosh, that's really bad. All right, we're gonna get up, get dressed, and get ready for the day. So we think there's someone on our balcony right now because we keep hearing noises. Oh, yep, yeah, there's someone. Who's on our balcony? Hello. So today we are hitting Animal Kingdom. I don't know. Hence if... the shirt. <laughs> yeah, you look like a cheetah. I don't even know if I went there before. When I went on senior trip, I don't know if I hit that spot or not. I'm gonna have to like check it out, obviously, once we get there to see if it like refreshes my memory, but I don't I don't think I went there. Oh, Animal Kingdom just left. That means we gotta wait 20 minutes. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> Should we just like go back inside then? No. You're gonna wait out here for 20 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Yo, I'm trying to get food. I'm starving. Okay. Lizzie really wants to go to this one place at Animal Kingdom. Rainforest Cafe. But I feel like I'm gonna pass out right now because that's how hungry I but am. But listen, on senior trip, we had vouchers. Like we could go to these different places to get food and we wouldn't have to like pay cash for it. It was included. That place was not included. And I really, really want to try it out because people say it's so good. I mean, I don't know. All right, I, really I guess we'll go there. <laughs> I'll just die trying to wait. I, like I literally, survive. I'm feeling like I, oh, I want to throw up right now. You it's bad. <laughs> All right, so since the bus literally did just leave, we just checked too. It's not even showing the next bus time yet. I'm gonna get some food real quick, like something small to just hold me over until we get there. Because honestly, I don't know if I can make it. We're just splitting a sandwich real quick to hold us over. Ah, oh, I feel so much better after that. Holy crap, what are you doing? <coughs> you drinking too fast? I was definitely just joking. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, thanks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's funny is like, I feel satisfied now. Like I could definitely still eat. Lizzie feels full. My abs were showing before I Off ate. Off a half a sandwich. <laughs> half a sandwich, you feel full, man. I know. Damn. Perfect timing too. We got like, I think like three or four minutes until the next bus shows up. I don't know if you guys saw it in the last clip or not, but when Lizzie was choking, literally like a mouthful of her drink came out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this little bird right here is eating candy <laughs> off of the floor. He's trying at least. Girl, you got the shortest legs, but you're always trying to run to get somewhere. Yeah, because all the people that got off the bus with us, I'm trying to get in line in front of them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But no matter where we go, though, uh -huh. it's always like Yeah, that. right now I have it. You want to get, you want to be the first one in the diner. You want to be the first one. It just, it doesn't just even like matter. I get, okay, what's your excuse for always driving fast? You just want to get where you got to get, right? No, I just genuinely think driving okay, fast is fun. whatever. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like I'm entering into a rainforest right now. I don't think I've been here, to be honest. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't really think I have wow, been. Wow, then we're definitely doing the safari. All right. Animal Kingdom. We literally just got here, and I'm already starting to feel raindrops. I see the cloud, it's big dark cloud right there. It's supposed to rain for like, how long did you say? It was 40% around like two o'clock, so I don't know, just that hour. We'll see. Hopefully it's just raindrops and it's not like a full on like storm. So these right here are ancient sea turtles. I was gonna say, where the hell did you see that? I'm playing around. <laughs> what the hell? Is that like a real tree? I don't even know, but that I thing think? is massive. There's no way that's real. Maybe not. I think it might be fake. It's I don't know. Fake. I'm calling a little bit of BS on this one, on that tree, man. Like, even the leaves don't look real. Yeah, the leaves is what got me. I was like, eh. Yeah, I mean, if the leaves don't get you, it's the big ass tree trunk. Okay. <laughs> no, I was looking at the color of these leaves and then the color of those leaves. <laughs> it is really cool if you look at it, though, because there's like faces drawn in it. Like, there's a line right there. Yeah, Dang, yo, where's Diego when you need him? Yeah, the Mingo's in town. Found a fan. This feels so good. I just want to stay here. Honestly, it's pretty good. Today's one of the hottest days. Currently 90 degrees outside, that is. We got a 60 minute wait right now to go into the safari. Is this like a ride or? Yeah, it's like basically we're going into 
an area where we see a bunch of animals. We're like on a little, little bus thing. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll check it out. It looks like these are the buses that we take. Right here. All right, we're getting on. While we are driving through here, do make sure to look very carefully for them, especially when we saw this. <coughs> Far Harambe Wildlife Reserve. <laughs> Can grow to be as long as elephant all the way out there. Now, if you do happen to look in between those two large elephants, beneath them you might. Catch a glimpse of a little baby elephant. Poached on some of Africa's most well known and proactive in helping out all of these endangered animals. Just got off of that little ride, I guess I would call it. It was pretty cool. Now we actually have to walk to the complete other side of this park to go on another ride that we have a fast pass for. All right, this is what we're going on. It's called Dinosaur. I'm pretty sure it's a roller coaster. I guess it's not considered a roller coaster because the thing we're riding on has wheels. That's it right there. Got wheels. Definitely not. It was all right. What'd you think? Yeah. All right. <laughs> we got uh, one more ride here, which is in like an hour, I think. So can we I'm just gonna food? chill until then. Oh yeah, we can't get food. So this is the map that we've been following this whole time. There's also a map on your phone. It's like an app you can get. But literally, it's so weird because when you look at the map on your phone. It looks massive and you have like a little dot that shows you exactly where you are But when you're walking around things are so much closer near each other than they look on the map The map makes it look so much bigger than it really is. It's funny. Yo, not even kidding Literally every single person in this park just ended up jumping because the loudest thunder That was the ever. last one I've ever heard. It was the loudest thunder I've ever heard in my life. Not even lying Holy crap. It's not raining yet, but like Dude, it was so loud. That was like it almost sounded fake how yeah. loud it was. I thought it was like something different. Like you, like you set up like 400 speakers around the entire park and just blasted it at full level. That's what it sounded like, man. So this is the place that Lizzie wanted to go to, the cafe. The whole wall is like that. Oh, that thing, its mouth opens and closes. Where? Look, the little oh. fish. <laughs> Some fishies. Look at the chairs that they're sitting on. We're getting seated right now. Got a waterfall in here. They flicker the lights in here and everything. Living it up with the raspberry lemonade. She got her hers frozen. Mine's just normal. Oh, that looks so good. I got a chicken sandwich. It's got bacon on it, cheese, chicken. But this is Asiago bun. So it's like cheese inside of the bun. Me and Lizzie want to get this dessert so bad, but we're literally so full right now. It looks amazing. There's three layers of brownies. There's two ice cream scoops in the middle, two on top, and then there's like caramel and fudge all around it. Oh my god. It sounds so good. We can't so get filling. it though. I know, we're full. My, my sandwich is amazing, by the way. That's probably about what this meal is. How yeah. it's gonna fill my stomach. I think this this is like almost 20 bucks still. It's pretty crazy. This is where we're headed next for a roller coaster ride, Mount Everest. Last ride of the day. Let's hope it's a good one. Oh, that was pretty fun. When you go all the way up to the top, there's like a broken off part of the roller coaster, and then you start going backwards the whole time, and then you continue to go forward again. I don't know, that was pretty cool. It was really <laughs> Damn, girl, you looking good. Hey. <laughs> we are about to head out right now and actually go over to dinner. We're currently waiting on an Uber. Damn, man, night's just getting started. I got late already. <laughs> <laughs> just got to our table. This bread is super interesting. I just had a piece and it tastes like coconut. Like there's like hints of coconut in it. It's pretty good. Lizzie found a coconut shaving in it. That's, That's why what it tastes like coconut. Yep. We walk by this restaurant every single day and they have the strongest fish smell you will ever smell. Me and Lizzie like dread it every time. It's disgusting. It does not smell good at all, man. Like it is so powerful, the smell. I feel like the smell gets stuck in my nose. Too. Yeah. You're like, smack it out. <laughs> it is currently the next morning. We are on, I think, day three of this whole trip right now. And a funny story, there's actually another person on our balcony. And I guess they're doing some construction. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I know I've worn a black shirt like literally every single day that I've been here so far. But I am changing. I am getting a shower, just so you guys know. Okay, so if it isn't apparent enough, this is obviously a fake plant, but it looks like somebody tried to water the plant. And by the way, this is our water, but we, we weren't the ones that did it. 
That is actually really funny. <laughs> I really hope it was a kid that did that and not like a full grown adult because that would be pretty sad to be honest. So we came over to Magic Kingdom again and we tried getting a picture in front of the castle and it's literally one of the hardest things to do if you're trying to avoid getting people in it. Yeah. It's almost impossible. We even came super, super early to try and get a really good one and it just doesn't work out. So, I mean, we got a couple of few decent fix, but Man, that sucks. I wish one the bus turned out better. It would be amazing if we just get a picture where there's absolutely no one here. But that would probably never happen unless somehow I got into the park before anyone was here. If you guys can see that, my arm is literally twitching. I don't know why. Oh, now it just stopped. It was doing that for like the past minute and a half. Yeah, it's, it's done now. Getting so close to these birds. I feel like they're like very trustworthy. Like. I mean, the fact that I can get this close, that's pretty crazy. Aww. Hello. It's so cute. <laughs> wow, I've never been that close, honestly. They usually always fly away. We are taking a walk over to Epcot right now. It's about a five minute walk from our hotel, so not too bad. We actually ended up going the complete other way that we were supposed to, so now we're taking a boat over there. We're taking this boat over to Epcot real quick. <laughs> She's like trying to leave back. I was to say you can record. <laughs> Alright, so we're in Epcot right now. It's actually starting to rain a little bit again. It's just drizzling right now, but uh, we're trying to figure out a food place. Where'd you say we were? We are in the United Kingdom. Wait, I don't even know if that was the right accent. I don't even... The one thing I always mess up is I'll be trying to do like a UK accent and I switch between like, like UK and Australian. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Not sure exactly what this thing is called, but it's a big ass ball. It's a giant golf ball. Is it? Yeah, Lizzie just looked it up. Epcot's icon, the impressive spaceship Earth geosphere, referred to by most as the giant golf ball. So it's a spaceship Earth geosphere. We got another fan out here in Orlando. He's tearing up a little bit right now. What's your name, man? Caleb. Caleb, nice to meet you, bro. It is now a couple hours later and my arm is still twitching. Lizzie is holding it right now, feeling it. How weird does that feel? It feels like a baby kicking. <laughs> I know, it's so weird. I don't know what it is. That'll happen a lot when I smile too. Like my mouth will start to twitch. Like I, I remember I've done meet and greets in the past where I literally take pictures with like a thousand people in a day and it gets to the point where my mouth, it gets like numb and I just, it just starts twitching repeatedly. Usually it's from me smiling for hours straight. We actually just made it over to this other part of the Disney Resort. We're actually going over to an AMC dining right now. You guys know whenever we go to California, we always love going to the AMC dining over there because it's just a great experience. I mean, like who doesn't love eating while they're watching? a movie. Well, and they bring you your food. Yeah, they bring us the food too, which is dope. What sucks is we were originally going to take a bus over here, but we figured we would just Uber instead, that it would be quicker instead of just waiting for the bus to get there. Well, how ironic is this, that we get into our Uber and we're about to pull out onto the main road, but right in front of us pulls in the bus that is going to the same exact place that we were going to. So it's kind of like a little slap in the face, but it's all good. What's up? Oh my God. We got some fans What's over up? here. Hey. Oh my God. Can I take a picture with you guys? Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god. Take off. <laughs> Definitely haven't been to this area yet. It's super sick. It's a hot air balloon right there. This area kind of just feels like we're on the boardwalk, right? Come on, girl. We're going to be late for the movie. Actually, we are late. We're a couple minutes late now. Okay, but, uh, but remember. We still got previews. previews, yeah. The the theater was literally the complete other side. I'm not even bullshitting you. Literally the complete yeah. end we of... I know, we did. <laughs> complete other side of the whole place, so... We're going in now. Yeah, this one's got a freaking bar and everything. This theater is massive. So to get to our actual spot for where we got to go for our auditorium, we have to go completely around the building outside and then go downstairs to get there. It is massive in here. We came around the other side of the building. Okay, so it said dine-in theater. It's not a dine-in. Uh, honestly, not happy. So I don't, no yeah, don't want to watch the movie if it's not a dine-in. That's part of the, literally half the reason why I wanted to come. So after all of that rushing to get over here and to make the movie, when we walk in there, literally like it's not set up like a dine-in theater, like how it's supposed to. So I'm super confused. I was like, all right, something isn't right. So we go up and the guy even said to us at works, he was like, yeah, a lot of people like always get confused because they advertise the whole thing as a dine-in theater, but only the one section is which we were currently at before is the dine-in part. Five theaters out of this massive thing have yeah. dine-in. So, we got a refund for our tickets because they don't play that movie in the dine-in part. 
Apparently they only play a couple movies, so we're gonna head back over to the other side, see what movies they're playing, because we still, of course, want to watch a movie and, and dine in. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see what's playing. Worst case, we just won't see anything. It's just really annoying, though. It's like false advertising, man. It, no, it's they gotta not be. Like, it is. They, I, I know, literally. They gotta be specific. So if you guys ever come to Disney World and come into this area, what is this, Disney Springs? Disney Springs, yeah. Just know if you're gonna be going to the movie theater that there's only one part of, of the movie theater that's actually a dine-in. So you gotta be very careful. Man, literally every movie that is showing right now and all the times for the rest of the night are movies that we have already seen. So obviously we don't wanna rewatch another movie. What do you wanna do? Go grab I'm, dinner? I don't know, I'm just annoyed now. I know, let's like, go. I don't even look good. I was dressed to light in a dark room. <laughs> We're gonna grab food. On the bright side, when we walked in here, we saw that they had another Rainforest Cafe, and we, we really wanted to get this dessert yesterday, but we were too full, and plus we had to rush to get over to a ride. We might try and get that again today. We're gonna we're gonna grab food there, of course. But yo, that dessert is massive. Then maybe what we can do is we can get a meal and split the meal and then split the dessert. That that sounds like a good idea. Honestly, I don't know if I could eat it. Meal and Yo, that dessert right now. I have been picking out recently, like this trip. Like, okay, it's a trip, a vacation, but, yeah. relaxing. But when I go back home, man, I gotta diet hard. I can't yeah. be picking out like Literally I have been. Just those meal plans. I know. <laughs> Are you taking pictures? Me. We're going in here. All right, we got a 40 minute wait, so we'll just sit in here the whole time. So me and Lizzie just went in here to take a picture, and we thought that it was one of the picture booths that have like multiple pictures down in a row. Ended up being just one picture. But you got to take three. You got to take three and then choose your favorite, but we didn't know that. So we're taking like goofy pictures the whole time. We got this one right here. I find it very ironic though, that we actually are coming back here because I said to you the other day, I was like, all right, we're not gonna be able to get it now, but like we should definitely come back. Yeah. And we ended up coming back. And we didn't even know that this was here. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> This thing is almost impossible to hold like straight up because then it just slides the whole time. Like, <laughs> but, <laughs> literally like, it just, I gotta, I gotta see if I can get this down. No, it's impossible. <laughs> it's like, it's not happening. I can't even pick it up. There's people behind me trying to do it as well and he keeps dropping it. <laughs> That's a backpack. There's a couple other ones too. Feel that heat? Yeah. Oh, some spraying me too. There it goes again. We're sitting at our table and realize that this fish only has one eye. You can see uh, the hole right there. There's another eye. And then there's doors. My arm is still twitching. It's so weird. It's just doing it on its own. Ooh, look at that. Yo, me and Lizzie just made the same face. We bit into it and like recreate the face. We we're like, oh, like that was so good. It was like a relief. Yeah. Man. Going into this, I knew we weren't gonna finish at least one brownie, so we got a box to go for it. But um, I devoured mine. Lizzie ate like majority of hers. I actually started eating some of hers too. Oops, I couldn't. I really. Couldn't. I know. How's your stomach feel? Honestly, I feel like I have to walk hunched over. <laughs> I feel like mine's gonna explode. I'm gonna be in the bathroom for 12 hours. I'll see you later. Uh, okay. <laughs> it is currently the next morning and it is super early. It's like 6 a.m. right now. We are currently headed out to the airport. Liz has got her bags all packed and everything, trying to get everything situated. How did you enjoy the trip, babe? It was amazing. I can't it was. It was fun. I can't thank you enough, seriously. <laughs> For sure. Now it's time to leave. All right, let's go. One step closer, we're in the car now. I can't wait to see Theo and Bella, but I the know. one thing is that I feel like Bella's gonna pee all over us. Oh, she's gonna jump so high. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, this airport is mobbed right now. That's the wait time for just TSA, 26 to 30 minutes. A dog smelling everyone's stuff. Just landed in Philadelphia. I really wish that our plane was as fast as the transition is for you guys, like when you see it on video, that it's just like that. Who knows, man, maybe like teleportation one day. I, I don't was know. thinking about that on the plane. I was like, you know, life would be so much easier. Yo, listen, you know what's crazy? The Simpsons, uh, the TV show, they have predicted so many things that have actually became true. And there was one episode where they were showing a bunch of like future technology, and one of them was teleportation. And apparently it's supposed to happen in 2023. I've also saw like a lot of other sources confirming that and stuff as well, but who knows, man. Bye. I really don't know for myself. 
What's up? <laughs> but think about that. That would be Wait, insane. What did you say about the um? What was it? You said something about the Simpsons. Oh, the Toy Story or Toys R Us. Yeah, like the like they predicted that Toys R Us was closing. They predicted Trump's presidency. They predicted a lot of stuff, man. It's crazy. Tony! The Antmobile coming in clutch. Just got back home to New Jersey, and we are about to get Bella and Theo's reaction. We love doing this because they get so excited. We have a very strong feeling that Bella is going to pee everywhere, so <laughs> Ant's going to let them out in the back. We're going to go in the back. You guys going to go outside? <laughs> Good PBs, come on. Hi! <gasps> Hi! That was pink! You that was pink! It. That was your pink! Oh, your pink, girl! <laughs> I see you! Wait, go get it! <laughs> so she's running with her ears down. Lizzie, she's getting. She's gonna pee all over you. <laughs> she's so excited. I think Theo knew. Did you say something? No! They just came out. Come here, come here. Like, I really got to see. <laughs> come on, Danny, Theo, come here. Yeah. Come here, Theo. Theo. Hi, boy. Hi. <laughs> Why are you running? You want to run? <laughs> Where's... You miss mommy? Don't run. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Geo's laying underneath now. No, he's, there he he's is. Pressing on it. They want to play. Ready? No, over here. Come on, Jay. No, over here. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Hi. <laughs> now, now, literally, Theo, or Geo just peed all over you, Lizzie. Ah, uh, it feels great to be home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. If you guys don't already follow me on Snapchat, I post stories on there, especially when we go on trips like this and I don't vlog it. You can see everything first on Snapchat. I post like pretty much sneak peeks of what's to come in the vlog. So you can add me at it's Lansu10. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Lansu10 as well. But other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.